All right, we have just moments left with our two guests here, Stephanie Tietro and Mary Catherine Harcomb. That's quite the name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, people earlier today were just saying just as far as, you know what, I am a citizen here of the country. I support my fellow citizens. Why should I support someone who's not even here with the pro proper documentation that came here illegally? How, how do you balance that? What do you want to say to those people? Do you guys support those who come here to the country that didn't come here legally? Um, is there a reason? Do you guys support them for that? So, you know, I, uh, I'm an American by choice. I immigrated here to this country from Canada, uh, and it took my family tens of thousands of dollars and 14 years for me to become a citizen. I know firsthand how complicated and difficult our immigration system is. Like I said earlier, we haven't updated our laws in about 30 years. We know that we need immigrants to help our economy. We know that we want people to be together with their families and have people be able to immigrate here and reunite with their families. Immigration uh, and immigrants are a part of the fabric of this country. And so you know, regardless of, uh, of how people may have come here originally or uh, what their status is now, I think we believe that if people are willing to work hard, if they're willing to um, live up to the values of our country, if they're willing to, you know, participate and contribute to making Tennessee a better state, we should make it easier for them to do that. Do you share the same sentiment? Well, I first want to say that I think I'm also a citizen by choice of the U.S. because I'm from Texas. <laughs> um, and we sort of get an opt-out <laughs> policy there. Texas is its own country. I am from Texas, by the way. So, <laughs> um, You know, I think many of us grew up on the concept of the American dream. And I think that we would like to still believe that that is true. Above and beyond that, though, beyond what people feel about immigration, to me, a good analogy is um, like health care. If Stephanie is sick, I'm more likely to get sick. Even if I've had all my shots and take care of myself, her sickness makes me more likely to get sick. Safety and criminal justice is the same. If my neighbor is a big target for, for criminals or is a, a target for victimization, that makes me less safe. And so a bill like this to me, above and beyond how we feel about immigration and immigrants, just makes us all less safe. Um, and I would really hope that we could focus on the underlying issues of making life better, safer for all of us here in Tennessee. Uh, regardless, I mean, stepping out even after today, it's guaranteed that no matter what, there will be people who not everyone is always going to share the same thoughts, the same, mm. the same feelings. This is obviously a battle that you will continue on. I understand there will be a rally, depending, a gathering of sorts, just like last week's, coming up next week maybe? Yeah, so we're going to continue to to work to make sh to raise all of the concerns I've shared tonight with the governor. Make sure he continues to hear from faith leaders and educators, from neighborhood groups, from local communities, um, just how dangerous this bill might be. Um, and so every day until he makes a decision on whether or not to veto the bill or allow it to become law, we'll make sure that Tennesseans have the opportunity to, to share their concerns. All right, Stephanie, thank you. We'll have final thoughts coming up after the break. your spot open at work? I don't know. Ever since the wreck, I've been taking care of him. We're going to get you every dime you deserve. You hang in there, buddy. It's the Great Outdoors Sale at Family Leisure. Stay cool. 24-foot pools, only $19.99 installed. Largest selection in the country. Enjoy quality and comfort outdoors. Hundreds of in-stock patio sets. Whatever your style or budget, we've got you covered. Keep your kids active this summer with an outdoor play set from Family Leisure. With Lee Viking Muscles, four-person spas, only $17.99. Swim spa starting at $99.99. These great products also on sale now. The Great Outdoors Sale going on now at Family Leisure. Family and fun come together. Buying a mattress sucks. 
So I go to a store and get attacked by a salesman calling himself a sleep expert. He guides me to one of a dozen models and says, this one is no good. Well, why do you offer it then? Salesmen are paid commission based on price. And if you go to a different store, that same model is named differently. We knew fixing even half those issues would change the mattress industry forever. We could design a great product and still profit to grow our company. And all we did was solve problems based on what people were saying they wanted all along. Visit us online at TN.com. You know, you're kind of a big deal for a small red nose. Aw, shucks. You're an even bigger deal, pal. Girl, you've impacted over 8.3 million children. And you've supplied over 32 million meals for hungry American children, champ. Stop it, miss. I've provided medical services to 6.7 million kids. Nose to nose. Bring it in, big red. Noses on. Red Nose Day, May 24th. Uber and Lyft are great rideshare services for our city. Accidents happen with even the most experienced drivers. If you're a driver or passenger with Uber or Lyft and get in a crash, call us. Brought to you by Bart Durham Injury Law. All right, as we wrap up our topic today, just want to leave it up to you ladies. I know we kind of have just a really a minute left. Um, what would you guys like to say? I mean, I think, you know, I appreciate the opportunity to share more about this bill. I think there's been a lot of confusion about what it does. And really, you know, after hearing from a lot of callers tonight, it's clear that people feel really strongly about immigration, have a lot of questions and concerns about how our system's working. And, you know, the sponsors of this bill have really taken advantage of that confusion, taken advantage of the fear and the questions that people have, and make them think that this bill does something that it's not going to do. It's not going to change our immigration laws. It's not going to address the concerns or questions they might have. And so, you know, what this bill is going to do is cost local taxpayers money. It's going to undermine public safety. Um, and it's going to hurt families here. And so I would encourage the governor uh, and our callers not to listen to these politicians, but instead to listen to local law enforcement, to teachers, uh, to local county and city officials, um, and, and know that this bill is actually going to make our communities right. less safe. If you guys, thank you so much. I know we're running out of time. If you guys have any other information, make sure to visit newschannel5.com. Thanks so much for watching. Open line. Have a great night.